That's right. Well, another interesting story this week, interesting to me anyway, mm -hmm. because I could actually relate to it a little bit, was <laughs> done by uh, Matthew May. Uh, learning comes first. Now, uh, May talks about a lot of things in here, but we really focuses kind of on Taichi Ono's um, uh, the Ono Circle, yeah, and if, ono you're, circle. If, you're, if you're not familiar with the Ono Circle, uh, supposedly, uh, a lot of people say this happened, uh, Taichi Ono would take a group of managers out onto the production floor, he would draw a circle on the floor, have them stand in it for a day, mm -hmm. and say, basically, you have to, standing here, I want you to observe everything around you and find what's wrong essentially with your processes. Kind of so, like a kind of like a gimba stand. <laughs> yes, instead of a gimba a gimba walk, it's a gimba stand. Right. And the idea being that by standing in one place and not being able to move, eventually you're going to start observing things. And and one person who went through this process, whoop, there we go. One person who went through this process is first of all, uh, after standing there for a while, he began to understand what the process was, what was going on around him. Then he was able to start seeing problems. Once he understood the process, he could start spotting problems with the process. Once he spotted problems, he was able to start asking why. Why do these problems exist? You know, kind of the five whys example. Then from there, he could go on to root cause, and then from then on to, on to countermeasures. And it's the idea that when you take yourself and you put yourself in a position where you, you're really forced to stay in one spot and look at things, you begin to become more aware of your surroundings. Now, there was another interesting example where this is taken in a slightly different direction by a police force. What this police force did is it takes its, uh, I think it's new detectives, mm -hmm. takes them to an art gallery and has them stare at a painting. What are they learning? Well, the longer you stare at a painting, any of you who have ever done this in an mm -hmm. art gallery, particularly if you've gone on a docent-led tour, you start to notice things that you didn't notice at first. You start to go beyond, oh, isn't this a pretty picture by Renoir? And then you start looking, the longer you stare, you start looking at the characters, you start maybe to, to deduce some backstory on the characters, you look what's going on in the foreground, you look what's going on in the background, and pretty soon the intent of the artist really starts to come out at you. And that is kind of the point that May was making in here, is that whether it's an Ono circle or whether it's simply taking the time to really look at uh, a process or a painting or anything else, you become more aware of what's going on in it. Now this enhances, uh, this is good practice, I mean it enhances your observational skills, but also enhances your problem solving skills. You begin to realize that uh, the whole really is made up of the parts, and if you mm -hmm. can't see the parts, you don't really know what's going on right. with the whole, whether it's a process or a painting or anything else. So being able to take that time and really spend time observing something is really the goal of the, the Ono Circle and the goal of what Matthew May was talking about in this article. You really have to learn to observe in order to move on to the next steps of process improvement. And, and I, I know we have to move on, but, I, but you as a photographer have a personal experience with this as well that, that I thought was really interesting you talked about. I know we got to move on, yeah, but maybe you I'll, can quickly talk I'll about that. I'll just do it real quick. Yeah. Uh, myself and a photographer in, in, the, in the UK, um, had, would give each other photo assignments every now and then, just, just for the heck of it, and we'd post them online. But one of the assignments was find a spot, it, could be, it had to be a fairly small spot, and stay in there for a day and submit 20 images, 20 photographs based on, where, based on your location. Yeah. So my spot was out in front of the, the, the courthouse in Nevada City. It's kind of an Art Deco looking courthouse, very, very pretty building. Well, so I went out there for the day, basically had a 60 foot Linear, linear foot area that I was standing in front of. So at first, of course, you know, I'm taking buildings of the courthouse, mm -hmm. I'm taking buildings, of, pictures of buildings across the street. And that was good for like the first 45 minutes or an hour. I still had like, you know, seven hours left. <laughs> so pretty soon, you know, you start looking, well, look, isn't that architectural elements interesting on the building? Look at the doorknobs, look at the handles, look at the light fixtures, right? And, and then maybe you look further down, you know, what's beyond the building? How does this building contrast with the building next to it, which was a very modern building? Mm -hmm. How does the building across the street look when you look through it, look at it through the trees? Mm -hmm. What about the stuff at my feet? The longer I was there, the more I started seeing 
my environment, and my environment was more than I'm just standing in front of this pretty courthouse. My environment was everything that encompassed the courthouse and made the courthouse actually outstanding. If you took that same courthouse and put it somewhere else, it might not have the same effect. What gave that courthouse the beauty that exists there is not just the building. It's all the constituent parts that surround the building, and that's just something that comes out of observation that you don't get just walking by it and taking a quick picture of it. And what's the word? The word is context. And, and this, that's what you're trying yep, to do. And this, that's that's yep. what Matthew May is talking about here. Put your operation, put your process into context by having the patients really look at it. Yep. Really good article. Really good article. Let's check that one out again. That's also right below the player page right down there. Yep. Okay.